Welcome to Bello and Ginetto. I'm Christina and I'm so glad that you're here with me today. If you're new, welcome in. If you're returning, welcome back. No matter how long you've been here, I always appreciate your time. This video is going to be rather short. Um, it is just a request uh, for help if you can and only if you can. So why am I asking? Uh, I, if you don't know, I work on a military base. Uh, in Sicily and I am um, a teacher but um, there are some other people that I um, come in contact with <coughs> who are military contractors and so forth and one of the women that I uh, work with she also um, is in some sort of group for military wives. I don't know if it's like an officer's club or if it's just a spouse club. I don't know. I don't know the specifics. I don't. Um, but what I do know is that she was talking about uh, taking over some of the uh, different projects. So someone who uh, had recently PCS or something like that was doing this these baby boxes and she um, had now taken over them and she was asking me about different things that like crochet items to include and I was like oh well you know some little um, like burp cloths or um, you know blankets would be nice and I mean Yes, you can buy those, but it's also nice if they're handmade. Uh, there is a group on base uh, called Fleet and Family, and they do have some, uh, but she's looking to get several. Uh, I think probably, I think she said there are 20 boxes that she's trying to make, 20, 25, something like that. And I thought, well, I have a couple of blankets that I can give. Um, I don't have 20 or 25, obviously, um, and I don't know what she would be able to get from the place on base. I, they don't have 20. Um, I know that because when I checked in with them, they said they usually only have about five or six on hand at a time, and so they'll probably keep some of those at least to be able to give if somebody asks them for one. So at the most, she might get three from them. So I was just wondering if you had any blankets um, or burp cloths or anything like that that you have made that you would like to send um, so that I can share them with her. I will not be um, taking them other than to take the delivery in my uh, P.O. box and to give them to her. Um, I can show them on um, camera if you want, uh, if that was something that you would want you can definitely do that um just one second okay sorry um it literally was just a second or so for you but it was a couple minutes for me uh and i am still trying to work out the bugs on my microphone when i pause um to stop that noise it makes like a noise but I've tried unplugging it and then pressing like play again and then plugging it back in and then it makes the sound all weird. So I don't know. We'll, we'll try, try it. I'm trying not to pause videos so that that doesn't happen, but I don't know. Um, anyway, so I am just putting it out there. If you have anything that you've already made and you are like, I've made 15 baby blankets and I don't know what I'm going to do with all of them. Or I have some of these dish towels that I've made that I am not really certain what to do with. I would be happy to pass them along. Um, and if you are interested, I'm going to put my email address in the description box. Um, there is a, uh, a link tree that I have in my description box that links to my Instagram, to my um, Facebook group, to my Facebook page, 
uh, and to my email. So there, there, it does exist. My email is technically linked in my description box at all times, but I'll put it very clearly in this one, uh, just because if you, if you have the ability to send, even if you just send a couple of like burp cloths kind of thing, um, that would be helpful. I just want to try to help her make these baskets, um, as special as possible. And the fact that she has 20 that she has to make and, um, she's going to be here for the next four years. So I would really like for this to become something that we can, um, continuously help with. But I thought I'd try it and see what maybe I could get, um, I'm trying to get in touch with her also so that she can remind me the name of the spouses club that she's in. Oh, she just messaged me. There we go. The seventh RS spouses club. Uh, so I am, um, just going to put that out to see if anyone can, can share. Like I said, she's going to be here for another four years and I would love to be able to help. Um, get as many things um, handmade as possible for babies. Um, it doesn't have to be a lot. I am going to be working on some things myself. Like I said, I have three blankets that I'm going to give. And I have four, they're dish towels. I mean, I crochet dish towels, but they would absolutely work as a burp rag. You know, they're long enough to throw over your shoulder um, and sit. And they're cotton, so they'll absorb really well. So I think that would be just wonderful. Um, I'm going to, I'm going to donate all of those to her, but I wanted to put it out there because I know that there are many of you that are process crafters. So you enjoy the process of things, but you don't necessarily know what to do with the things that you have. Um, because you may not have a hospital to donate to or, um, somewhere else locally and, also, just because I am overseas does not mean it's overseas shipping. You can put it in a flat rate box because my P.O. box is a U.S. address. Okay, so I can get things from Amazon. I can get things from Joanne. I can get things from all kinds of places in the United States shipped to me. Not every place ships to um, APO, FPO, but I can get things shipped here. It is a U.S. address. So it will not cost you any more than it would to ship anywhere else in the United States. The only difference is you need a customs form. And the person at your um, post office should be able to do that for you. Um, you just write in what you're sending. You know, crochet blanket, crochet um, dish towel, crochet burp cloth, whatever, whatever it is. And they'll look up, there's a code that they, they are supposed to help you look that code up. They tell you otherwise, they're lying. Because they are supposed to help you with the customs form. It helps them immensely if you already have it done, but they can help you do it while you're there. Okay? Um, because there's a whole lot of codes and that is, sometimes can be a pain. But they can and should help you with that. But it will cost you no more than it would be to send something anywhere else in the United States. Right? And you can use a flat rate box and put as much in there as you can fit. Because if it's a flat rate box, then the weight doesn't matter. If it's just a priority box, the weight matters. But if it's a flat rate box, the weight does not matter. Okay? So... If you had a flat rate box and you could stuff four blankets in there, that would be magic. <laughs> but if you could, right, and it only cost you $25 to send four blankets, if you have that, right, only and if only you do. But if you're willing to help, please let me know. Like I said, I'll put my email in the description box and um, message me and I can send you my um, P.O. box. The only thing that I ask is... Please don't share it out, right? If someone um, would like to send things, please have them contact me. One, so I can keep track of how many people have contacted me to know 
approximately what I could be expecting. Um, because if I start getting a lot of things shipped to me, I have to let the post office know. So if I share it to one person and I get 15 boxes, I'm, I'm not going to get in trouble, but I'll be talked to, right? And so I want to make sure that I have accountability for myself and I can let um, the base post office know what's what's going on, all right? So like I said, um, I can definitely also do a video once I get things in, if you would like, um, sort of like Rose does with wings, but I'm not asking for monthly items. I'm just asking for baby items, um, to help fill in for some of the gaps that the base doesn't have and that I don't have. I mean, I'm going to start working on more baby blankets so that I can give them to her, but I would like to, to reach out because I do have this platform and... I know that there are people, I hear people say all the time, I have all these blankets and I just don't know what to do with them. So if you have the means, I would love to be able to share that wealth with some military families. All right, I am going to go. Thank you so much for your time and attention. And again, my email will be in the description box. As always, be well, be safe, and be the change you wish to see in the world, everyone. Ciao, bella!